hello everyone and welcome back to my channel here is another very basic and simple lecture on trades and their types so in this lecture i will talk about simply inherited trades and polygenic trades and we'll discuss how can you differentiate between these two type of trades and i will also discuss uh, quantitative and qualitative trades and their differences and at the end i will talk about threshold trades so let's start but before moving towards our today's topic i wanna let you know about the differences between trade and phenotype so trade is a distinguishing phenotypic characteristic any characteristic on the basis of which you can differentiate between living organisms would be a trait for example coat color is a trait height body weight eye color hair color milk production egg production and there are so many other traits but what is the phenotype phenotype is what you observe or measure on the animal for a certain trait for example coat color was the trait and what you will observe would be the phenotype that would be like the uh, color like black or white that is phenotype so i think now you can differentiate between trait and phenotype so let's start uh, our today's topic that is types of traits traits can be classified on the basis of how they are inherited or they can also be classified on the basis of how they are expressed so first we will see how can we classify traits on the basis of the inheritance so on the basis of inheritance traits can be classified as simply inherited traits and polygenic traits simply inherited traits are also called monogenic traits and these are the traits which are affected by one or only few genes in most cases they are only affected by one genes that's why they are also known as monogenic traits and the example of these traits in livestock species are coat color and presence of horns these traits have two secondary characteristics which are like the phenotype are expressed in categories for simply inherited traits the phenotypes are expressed in categories for example the coat color is the uh, simply inherited trait and its phenotype that is red color or black color color that is expressed in categories so that's why these traits are sometimes also called as categorical traits so these simply inherited traits they are called they are called monogenic traits and they are also called categorical traits and these traits are sometimes also called as qualitative traits because their phenotypes are expressed in categories or qualities the other characteristic of these type of trait uh, traits is that they are not affected by environment so these simply inherited traits they are not affected by environment they are only controlled by their genes which are in most cases only one gene is controlling these traits so i think now you can clearly differentiate that what are the monogenic traits simply inherited traits categorical traits or qualitative traits these are actually the same so now let's discuss the other type of traits that are known as uh, polygenic traits so polygenic traits are those traits which are affected by a large number of genes they are not only affected by single genes but they are affected by so many genes and they and the number of genes might be hundreds or thousands and these the example of these traits are milk production growth rate height birth weight these all are the example of polygenic traits they also have two secondary characteristics first one is that 
their phenotypes are described in numbers and in most cases that is described in quantitative scale that's why these traits are known as quantitative traits because their phenotype is expressed or described in in numbers and the like milk production is always uh, measured in decimals for example 1.2 kg 1.3 kg 1.4 kg uh, it doesn't follow a discrete scale it follow a continuous scale so these are the polygenic traits the first characteristic is that they are always expressed in numbers and that's why they are also called quantitative traits the second characteristic of these uh, traits uh, is that they are also affected by environment so these traits are affected by environment for example milk production that is a polygenic trait is uh, uh, is also affected by the availability of uh, feed it will also be affected by the uh, health status of animal and overall the management which is provided at the farm so these these traits are most mostly affected by environment so how can you differentiate between polygenic and simply inherited traits simply inherited traits are those that are only affected by one or few genes polygenic traits are those that are affected by many genes okay example of simply inherited trait are coat color and presence of horns there are some other traits as well and the example of polygenic traits is milk production growth rate and height they both of these traits have two secondary characteristics for simply inherited traits they are also known as categorical traits or qualitative traits because they are expressed in qualitative form or they are measured in categories so that's why they are known as qualitative traits and polygenic traits because they are always measured in my uh, uh, in numbers uh, so that's why they are known as quantitative traits and these simply inherited traits they are not affected by environment but in case of polygenic traits they are affected by environment their environment has also an influence on the uh, on the phenotypes of these polygenic traits so we also have an other type of traits that are known as threshold traits so what are threshold traits threshold traits are those the, are the polygenic traits in which phenotypes are expressed in categories they are controlled by a large number of genes but their phenotypes are expressed in categories for polygenic traits we uh, we said that though their phenotypes are expressed uh, in numbers but in threshold traits they are again polygenic traits but their phenotypes are expressed in categories for example dystocia is a threshold trait that is actually the difficulty in giving birth and it its phenotype is measured in two categories which are assisted or unassisted if an animal require an assistance du during the parturition then the phenotype would be assisted and if the animal doesn't require any assistance during giving a, a birth then it would be unassisted the phenotype is measured in categories but again the trait is polygenic because it is controlled by a large number of genes actually many genes influence the size of fetus the size of dam's pelvic opening and her preservance in delivery so due to these reasons these traits are known as threshold traits they are still polygenic but they are threshold the other example of threshold trait is fertility that is again controlled by uh, so many genes but it is measured as success or failure to conceive 
सो दिस वॉज अ वेरी बेसिक लेक्चर ऑन ट्रेड्स एंड देयर टाइप्स आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड इट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग इट एंड इफ़ यू डिडेंट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब इट एंड इफ़ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ गिव अ थम्ब अप थैंक यू वेरी मच